Hi, Barry Thompson from BoatMedics.com. Today we're looking at one of the new McClays. McClays been around for a number of years. They build a range of hard tops, open boats, premier series of boats. This is the new 701 Cruiser Gen 2. It was released at the New Zealand Boat Show earlier this year. And it's a little different. It replaces the very, very popular 671, which we've all seen for many years. But it's wider on the waterline beam and the shear line gives it a really nice flowing line and it's got more space inside. So let's have a look at some of the special features that McClay's managed to put into this boat. The new McClay 701 Gen 2 Cruiser has got a very typical McClay transom. What you're seeing here is one option. You can do what you like. You don't have to have twin access and cages. You can have anything you like. It's beauty of being aluminium. In the centre, a large bait board, pull out shelf here so you get a lot of gear in there. Underneath, battery storage. Big walkthroughs, door on here, any water coming over the back isn't going to slosh into the boat, especially if you're backing up on a big fish, but there is a big sump in there anyway, so you're going to get rid of it. That opens up there, easy access through here, and I like this cage. This cage is really solid. You know, if you're fishing in Fovo Strait or bring your bag of mussels or scullies in up the North Island, you know, no problem. Divers will love it. Three big treads, drop that down, and it's big enough tread so you can actually come in on with your flippers on to drop your gear in the boat. But we can't forget what powers it. We've got a Mercury 250 Pro. This is the new generation four stroke for Mercury. It's got um, power steering, fly-by-wire controls, does about 40 knots on this boat, sort of probably the top power you want on here. Uh, and the other thing is when you're trolling, very, very economical, and of course being a four stroke, no smoke. Now the 701's got a really good fishing cockpit. Look at this, there's so much space in here. You know, you get four, six guys fishing here really easily. You've got three rod holders welded into the side coving both sides, two long side trays. Now those of those will take rods, gaffs, tag poles, even water skis. Under floor here, under the checker plate four, 225 litre fuel tank. Now, if you like a little bit more comfort, you can throw a clip on carpet into it or that rubber web matting, whatever you like, that's just completely optional. Far in the cockpit, twin bin seats again, optionally you can have whatever you like, you could even put a little portaloo in here somewhere, I would imagine. But sitting here reminds me of a story when I came back from Stewart Island once with Steve McClay and an earlier McClay, I got absolutely soaked. It was atrocious weather. Steve assures me that this overhang is going to keep me dry. So this has actually been extended quite a bit from the 671. On the back of it here, a good solid handrail. So, you know, it's great, good to hang on. It's a good height for me if you're in some rough water. I've got a wakeboard towing eye here for tubes and stuff possibly it's you know nice and solid and overhead an eight rod rack which keeps all your fishing gear out of the way out of the cockpit nice and protected going forward again see a bulkhead now the bulkhead is optional you can have it completely open if you want to so you have the bulkhead here with drop down windows glass windows and a glass door here or if you don't want this, you can have solid aluminium. So really it's up to you what the style that you want. But to me, this sort of boat, a hard top boat, you'd have the bulkhead in there because when it gets a bit cold, nice and warm inside and out of the weather. Now one of the big changes in the 701 is the, is the wheelhouse is bigger. The rear bulkhead's been moved back 75 mil, which gives you a better standing for driving and you get plenty of room in the seat here when you're steering if you're a tall guy like me. But also on top of that, what McClay's done is they've moved the windscreen forward, similar amount, so this eyebrow here isn't so obtrusive and danger of knocking your head, you'll never touch that. The dashboard, very customized and they're done for a purpose. Once you decide what screen you want, in this case a Simrad 12, you can sort of model things around it. So in the case of this, there's a bigger eyebrow to take the mercury gauges. We've got the Maxwell automatic winch, and I notice we've got zip wake here. 
Now these are the vertically operated trim tabs um, and interesting to see how they go on a boat this size. They're quite a new trendy thing. Overhead, we've got the Simrad VHF, Fusion, and a couple of Fusion speakers, and there's a couple of Fusion speakers outside as well. Now, this particular boat has got an infill, and you can use this as, a, as an overnighter. It's not really designed as an overnighter or a weekender, but if you equip it with you know, a fridge and a cooker and an outdoor shower, and under here you can put a toilet, you can stay out overnight, no problem at all. Okay, for a couple of people, couple of people, infill move over there. And you can see you've got great sitting headroom in here. So you can put a toilet under there if you wanted, that's an option. Got wide side trays. Over this side is a uh, kid's pipe berth. It's a bit short, I can't line it. But if you've not got kids, it's a great place to stow gear. So it gives you another shelf for storage. One thing I really like about the boat, it's fully lined. Now, right through to even the handrails and places like that. So you don't even see a hint of any aluminium inside. It's, it, and it gives a warmth and feel to the interior of the wheelhouse and the cabin itself. Now up the bow section here, you've got the choice. You can have a Maxwell Capstan, or which is really, really popular now in the Maclays, is a automatic SAV drum winch, which is hidden away in here, you can't see it. It's great. Uh, and this is a real typical South Island feature. You don't see it in North Island boats. Big bow, drop down ladder. Great when you're coming into a beach. Easy to get on and off, and it goes over that anchor. Now, We've shown you've got the two seats here, but this is a really cool idea. You put the infill in here, and you come back from a day's fishing, and it's really snotty outside, cold and wet and miserable. You've got four guys in the boat, you've got four seats. Easy to get four adults across here. So, nice protected, go back in the elements. But, wait, there's more. Look at this, that's a good size berth. So, two guys in there, or mum and dad, and one kid or a couple of little wee kids here, it's great. So that's the interior and the layout of the boat. So we'll take it out on the lake, we're down here at Queenstown, beautiful day, and just put it through its paces.